Hi, back again. Now we are going to explore sound processing techniques that allows us to create new sounds by transforming our samples in dramatic and exciting ways. The key concepts we will be exploring are time compression and expansion, as well as speed and pitch manipulation. OK, so let's explore time compression and expansion. The first thing I'm going to explore is time expansion. In this case, we're going to be using a speed function. I've loaded up a sound file called Tone 1, which is simply a plucked note from an auto harp or a stringed instrument. Let's have a listen. Sounds pretty gritty and noisy, but that's okay because I'm really concerned here about generating new kinds of timbre. Let's go to Effect, Change Speed, and set the change speed by half. This will slow it down by half and hence increase the duration by double. Let's have a listen now to what that's done. Sounds pretty ominous. I like it, so I'm going to keep it by going to File, Export Audio, calling it Drone from Tone 1. Make sure it's a wave and 24 bit and click Save. Click OK for the metadata. And that's it. In this example, I'm going to perform time compression. We've got a paper tear sample here, which is quite long, about two and a half seconds or so. Let's have a listen. What I want to do is I want to use this to create a short, interesting percussive sound. So let's go to Effect, go Change Speed, and I'm going to change it dramatically by speeding it up 10 times. This will, in effect, reduce it to one-tenth of its duration. So about 230 milliseconds or thereabouts. OK, it's performed it. Let's have a listen. OK, that sounds nice. I like that as a short percussive element. Let's go to Effect and Normalize just to bring the level up a bit. Okay, that's great. Let's export it out, ensuring that we're using WAVE 24 bits, and I'm going to call it Paper Perk. Okay, let's try a different method to change the duration of the sound file. Last time we used the speed function. The thing about the speed function is it changes the pitch as we increase the speed and the duration of the file goes down, the pitch goes up. If we decrease the speed, the duration of the file increases, but the pitch goes down. Let's use the tempo function, which should change the duration whilst not affecting the pitch. Let's have a listen. We've got a simple water sample here in a sink. Let's manipulate that. We go to change tempo. We're going to change the tempo by about 50%. You'll see down here that this will increase the length of the sample by double, but the pitch should be the same. Let's zoom out, have a listen. So it's had quite a dramatic impact and I really like the effect that it's actually had. The timbre is quite unique. And there's probably some additional sounds in there that I could actually take out and use elsewhere. Let's export it and keep it. Now that we have transformed our sound using time compression and expansion, let's now explore speed and pitch manipulation. OK, let's go ahead and change the pitch of a sample. This can be useful because we can change the pitch of a sample to fit into a particular key or simply as a dramatic timbral effect. Let's have a listen to the sample we're going to use. OK, I'm going to shift this up slightly. Let's go to Change Pitch. Let's shift it up to, say, F. It's worth noting that the program doesn't know what the original pitch of the sample was. So you might have to use your ear in certain cases to make this work. Let's click OK and have a listen. OK, 
Okay, so all I was doing there was undoing and redoing the pitch process so I could compare before and after. I like what it's done, so I'm going to keep it. Okay, let's try the pitch effect as something dramatic in terms of changing the timbre. We go to effect, change pitch, let's shift it to A and shift it up three octaves. Click OK. I like what it's done there, even though it's a bit bitey and not really useful as a pitched sound. It could be shortened and used as a percussive element. Say for example if I selected this portion. I like that, so I'm going to trim it, normalize it, and keep it. Drag it to the beginning, and export it. Okay, let's try one other kind of time compression an expansion and pitch manipulation tool. We've still got our original tone. Let's go to effect, sliding time scale, pitch effect. What this will do is it'll change the tempo and change the pitch if we wish over the whole duration of the file. So the parameters are going to change over time. Let's get it to change from zero being the original to 200 and we'll shift up the semitones from the original being 0 to 12 or 100%. Let's click OK and have a listen. Even though musically I'm not sure how that might work, I like the sound effect of it and I think if I could process it and manipulate it using other effects it might actually prove useful musically but it definitely sounds like something I could use in a sci-fi of the 50s variety film. I'm going to export it and save it. That covers the basic practical steps of using transforming effects. These effects will provide exciting and interesting ways to create new sample materials for the creative activities. Your task for this week will be to create three different types of sounds using the effects and processes from this week and upload them to the repository.